Well, my name is John Wampler, and I'm uh, what is affectionately called a delivery captain. I pick up boats for owners in general who want their boats delivered from point A to point B. Oh, ah, shit. No, I'm never all right. So uh, the boat arrived here on Thursday last, I think it was? Yeah, let's see when it's... Stuff like that, unpack and stow it while we're here. Here's our extra dock lines, Mexican flag, and that way we can throw away some of these boxes. Looks big sitting out of the water, but once it gets in the water, you're gonna look at it and go, geez, we're gonna take that all the way to Mexico? Should be in the water in 30 minutes. This is the vessel's first taste of salt water. The boat has 400, and then I'm having a bladder on it with another 200. You know the only time you have too much fuel on a boat? When it's on fire. Well, I heard a story about this boat was seized by the U.S. Customs and Drug Enforcement Agency because it was a drug runner. You come over here, look at these outboard motors. These engines were taken out by a Coast Guard hit run team out of a helicopter shooting 50 caliber uh, rifle rounds into the outboard engine to disable it. You can see the five shot grouping there. This guy was really, really good. Shooting from a moving helicopter, chasing a moving boat. Okay, see this? Here comes the really hard part. Ready? Look at that. There you go. Doesn't that look fancy? That's what we call fancy work. <laughs> and also, when you pull that out, it won't have a, a little yeah. kinks in it like you do when you Flemish. I've been drunk at night and walk up and down docks and done everybody's like that in the morning. <laughs> when they come out, they go like, what the f <laughs> How did he do that? Yeah, it's taking off today, huh? Oh, is that for us? Uh, it's for a picture. Oh, oh, there's a telephone. That's probably my boss. We're, we're fueling here at the Tarpon Point Marina. Excuse me while I talk to the boss. Acme Renna Captain, you buy them, we break them. All right, so we just put 200 gallons up here. It's about 1,700 pounds worth of fuel. Or think of it as like six big fat guys up on the front deck drinking beer. So I think we're gonna be okay. We're headed to Key West. We got out of there late, so we're gonna get in there late, get her tied up. We have a little autopilot that we have to fix. No, 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 no! Can we help you unscrew it? We'll uh, take a look at the weather. What I'm looking here is wind arrows and wave heights in relationship to this graph. Load up with fuel. Yeah, nothing but problems. Fuck it. Thank you. Push off for Mexico! I got the autopilot fixed this morning. We pulled out about 15 minutes ago. And the boat's pointed at Cancun, so that's gonna be about 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Oh, 0300 in the morning. Anyways, we're about 20 miles off the coast of Cuba. That would be over there on the other side of that cruise ship. Uh, we have 195 miles to go. In four hours when the sun comes up, we're gonna transfer some fuel from the bladder on the front of the tank into the main tanks. And then we're gonna get this thing up and going. We got a cold front pushing down in front of us, which can get really snotty in a, in a northerly blow. These are uh, seven to nine foot. Not a nice day. Well, right now we're doing about ten knots. <coughs> oh, this is just a fucking nightmare. Oh, look at this.
go through this shit. Owner's on his way. He'll be here in 45 minutes, and then I gotta start explaining everything to him. Brush our hair. Part on the side, you see. Because I'm too old to part it down the middle. Oh my god, he's good looking, too. <laughs> Welcome aboard your boat. Have a seat. Nice to meet you. This is for both of you. Well, thank you. I don't drink this alcohol. Is definitely That's for me. Not for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, if you're going to have champagne, you got to have bubbles. Well, uh, we've got the owners down at the boat, looking at the boat after it arrived here in Progresso. Uh, as soon as they get done doing a, a walkthrough, we're going to be doing a christening of the boat. And I'll be saying a few words, and the wife of the vessel will be christening the boat with champagne. We recognize and bless this vessel as La Frima. We seal this pack with a libation offering according to to the hallowed rituals of the sea. Salut! Excellent. Pleasure, we're all mine. Ooh. Yeah! With a kick? What I really love about this job is that at the end of the trip, I just hose it off and I walk away. Go get on another one. And off on a new adventure. <laughs>